particularly harsh snowstorm in 2010 saw us lose a thousand lambs in just one night, leaving us devastated. It made us realise we had to do more to reduce death within the flock at lambing. As a result, we set up the orphan lamb shed. It's just an old wool shed, no mod cons as such, just the bare essentials for keeping vulnerable lambs alive. The first year, we brought in around 220 lambs into the nursery shed. This year, it was almost 350. Our main constraints are space and my personal capacity, but also the colostrum supply from local dairy farmers. Not every orphan lamb can be reared and fattened viably, so we've tightened up our procedures around which lambs are brought in. The lambs are all over 2 kilos and have been checked for any abnormalities which might prevent normal growth and development. I've developed a flow chart so anyone working in the shed can ensure lambs meet the agreed criteria and receive the appropriate treatment and care. Basically, this eliminates the guesswork. Our key objective is to have less than 30% mortality within the first 24 hours and 5% within 5 days. Any particularly small, weak or hypothermic lambs go into a hot box under heat lamps. We also have an isolation box for lambs being quarantined so any illness or disease is contained. When the lambs come in, they are bottle fed on 100% cow colostrum for 5-7 to seven days, moving on to a mixture of 50-50 colostrum and spray foe milk replacer for the next 4 weeks. At around 5 to 7 days old, lambs are moved from the nursery shed into pens of up to 25 for mass feeding 3 times a day on the colostrum spray foam mix. At this stage, a sweet mix feed of Sharp's lamb pellets is introduced to encourage rumen development, making weaning easier later on. They usually start eating pellets at around 10 days old. The lambs go into grass paddocks on the same mix of feeds until weaning at around 9 kilos, with a 50 day live weight target of 18 kilos and a 100 day target of 33 kilos. Before the lambs move into the paddocks, AID tags are inserted allowing us to monitor individual lamb growth rates across their lifetimes. The orphan shed system is definitely labour intensive. I'll average 70 hours a week at the peak of lambing, but the value to us and our business is twofold. The satisfaction of seeing more lambs survive and thrive is paramount. All the lambs brought into the shed for whatever reason would have otherwise died. But it also makes commercial sense. This system costs us between $38 and $48 per lamb. So if they sell for $100 to $120, it's definitely worth it financially as well. 